Good morning. I feel both extremely humbled and entirely unqualified to be speaking before you today. To my parents, who, living in India 30 years ago, saw Berkeley as a symbol of the very best in education. Thank you for your support and all the sacrifices you made so that my brother and I could study here. <laughs> to our faculty, thank you for the boundless inspiration you have given and will continue to give all of us. To my peers, today we will gain the distinction of having graduated from the finest public university in the world. Congratulations. When I was a child, my brother and I spent our summers writing stories with our friends about a crime-fighting hippopotamus. We, we concocted intricate scenarios within elaborate universes and spent hours illustrating these scenes. We were fully convinced that this would make a great movie someday and even recorded an original soundtrack. As most children do, we enjoyed a deep sense of conviction and complete faith in our imagination. As the years passed, however, we confronted a world that constantly tried to make us feel like our abilities and ideas are limited, that we must fit into a predetermined mold, and that some things were beyond our reach. Like many people, I fell victim to these stifling beliefs. I became more cautious and felt the youthful abandon fade away that had brought our hippo and his adventures to life. But when I came to Berkeley four years ago, I found a community that, in its essence, defied the cynicism and pessimism I had come to expect. I found people who freely ignored conventions, consistently challenged what was possible, and fought fearlessly for the causes they believed in. I found a professor who helped me feel, even as a woman, that I truly belong in the field of math and who has inspired me to pursue the subject. And I found a place to become, once again, that child who wrote fantastic stories. Only now, instead of the elaborate universes we created, I lived in abstract mathematical spaces. Berkeley had slowly restored my childlike daring to have the biggest, wildest dreams and the sense that my ideas and opinions had value. I hope we have all been touched by the infectious spirit of discovery and the burning passion for creating meaningful change that characterized Berkeley. But we must now take these values forward and spread them wherever we go. We are faced today with many seemingly unwinnable challenges. Our planet's health is deteriorating, economic inequality is vast, and of personal importance is that many girls and women believe that they will not thrive in the sciences. But I urge you to approach these challenges with the guts and sense of freedom that Berkeley has taught us. We can overcome these issues and attain the heights that we as a people are capable of. Thank you and go Bears.